Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Ehong pre-sells 50 eVTOLs in Japan, Zuri VTOL updated to version 2.0, and Lockheed Venture Arm invests in Electra. Hi, I'm your host, Helen Lee. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Ehong pre-sells 50 eVTOLs in Japan. Ehong Holdings announced that one of the bigger Japanese air mobility companies, AirX, has placed a pre-order for 50 units of their EH216 AAV, making it the biggest order ever received in country. The manufacturer has made consistent progress in neighboring Japan, a country that often appears whenever improvements to unmanned and advanced aircraft are on the table. Japan sees the improvement in transportation and freight transport as key to serve their aging population in the coming decades. The pre-order is meant to facilitate AirX's urban air mobility projects in the works, predominantly in air taxi service at the 2025 World Expo in Osaka, Japan. Their previous expertise as a primary helicopter provider in the country has given them a solid digital ecosystem for route operations, online reservation, and private charter offerings. The addition of sustainable eVTOL aircraft to their mix will take their operations, whether passenger service, sightseeing, or aerial commuting should take them into the realm of household name in the island nation. Coming up after these messages, MCDO Legal Fund begun for Michigan Drone Battle. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few shorter stories making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. MCDO Legal Fund begun for Michigan Drone Battle. Ottawa County, Michigan may have a fight on its hands if a local law firm has their way. A new drone ordinance disallows drones from being flown on or around county property, as well as from taking photographs or recording video of certain public property in the state. The new law violates a higher Michigan state law that prohibits local and county governments from creating their own local restrictions on drone operations. The state is one of 17 that passed its own preemption law to create a more stable operating environment for the burgeoning UAV industry. Advanced Innovative Engineering Tests Drone Engine Advanced Innovative Engineering has announced the development of its newest small UAV propulsion system, showing a compact, lightweight Wankel engine. AIE demonstrated the capability of its 38 HP rotary engine, the AIE 225CS, standing for, in the tradition of engine design, a bevy of abbreviations. The CS in the name stands for Compact Sparks, which itself is another abbreviation for Self-Pressurizing Air Rotor Cooling System. Virgin Orbit's Above the Clouds mission successful. The most recent satellite launch from Virgin Orbit's Launcher 1 rocket had successfully deployed all seven of its assigned customer satellites after a flawless launch on January 13th. The Boeing 747 mothership Cosmic Girl took off from the Mojave Air and Space Port to a launch site over the Pacific before detaching the rocket. Launcher 1 successfully ignited and launched into space, delivering its payload into a precise target orbit just over 300 miles in orbit. 
Ecopolitics Target Aviation, EPA to Investigate Lead Aviation. The Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors may have surprisingly had an effect on the Environmental Protection Agency following their move to discontinue the delivery of 100 LL aviation fuel to their regional airports. The EPA said it will respond to petitions from the county as well as a similar request from Middleton, Wisconsin. It will begin analyzing the effects and report on possible regulations for all piston aircraft in the U.S., manned and unmanned. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Zuri VTOL updated to version 2. Czech sustainable aviation manufacturer-to-be Zuri has announced the first evolution of its aircraft. The new Zuri in the works is currently designated within the company as Zuri 2.0 with a dedicated freight version, the Zuri 2.0 Cargo. The concept takes the original hybrid VTOL aircraft and adds recent developmental experiences gleaned since last summer's tech demonstrations and hover testing. The 2.0 will see tweaks to some of the fundamental parameters of the Zuri 1.0, including aerodynamic profiles, control systems, required power output, and styling. The new aircraft is slated to offer more variety in its trim levels, including a VIP version that seats three in comfort, a four-seat executive, and the aforementioned freight hauler. Cruising speed has been lightly revised to just over 185 miles per hour, and cruise range remains steady around 435 miles. Zuri says this specification is essentially locked in, however, making the 2.0 design the norm going forward. Zuri has built smaller, fully functional demonstrators of the revised aircraft and says the resulting tilt-motor propelled hybrid aircraft is in a fine fettle. After the break, Lockheed Venture Arm invests in Electra. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Lockheed Venture Arm invests in Electra. Electra.Aero has received an investment during its Series A funding round from the Venture Arm of Lockheed Martin, which will be used to support the company's plans to fly a full-scale demonstrator aircraft for their hybrid e technology. The prototype is hoped to take flight sometime in 2022, pending successful ground tests of the propulsion system. Given the troubles associated with battery power from large charging stations, flammability concerns, and the constant pace of innovation leading production aircraft to prematurely aging comparison, fuel-powered engines may be the best way to future-proof the aircraft. A small battery bank constantly recharging by a turbine generator frees up a portion of battery weight for payload, as well as potentially enhancing the power supply's stability in extreme temperatures. Recharging in flight also allows for consistent operation with the convenience of airport refueling across the world. With the Electra's ultra-short takeoff and landing capabilities, any space as small as 300 by 100 feet could be used as a makeshift airfield, allowing for distributed cargo operations and possible traditional aircraft. The Electra is slated to carry up to 1,800 pounds of cargo or move up to nine passengers on traditional regional aircraft missions. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.